I wrote this letter after watching the, the tragic murder of George Floyd with my family. My mom wanted to have an open discussion with me about it. And I told her that I didn't know how I felt. I didn't know if I was mad, sad, confused. I don't know what I was at the time. So I wrote this letter to express my feelings to my mom. Was this all just like kind of pouring out of you at the time? I realized that it was my time to speak and I had to write about what it was like from my perspective of being a black boy in America. And so what's been the response like? A lot of people couldn't believe that I wrote it just because I'm a 12 year old boy, but just because I'm 12 doesn't change my perspective. I'm still a black boy in America. So these are all my experiences. And so what do you want people to know? I hope that this letter gives out change, but ultimately I would like people to see me past the color of my skin just long enough to get to know my heart. I too sing America. I am the darker brother. You also talk about a conversation with your parents at a really young age about what it meant to be a young black man. Talk about that time where you kind of realized, oh wait, this is a little different. Well, as I was playing the role of young Randall, um, there was a scene where I had a grandma who was acting racist towards me and I didn't even know what the word racist meant. I didn't know what racism even was at the time. So my parents had to sit me down, have a talk about me, about what it meant to be black and what racism was. And they told me that people would just hate me just because of the color of my skin. So when she was acting towards me as racism, I was actually crying. They told me not to cry, but I was actually crying because I didn't understand why someone would hate me just because of my skin color. What are the conversations like around the dinner table for you guys? My brothers are still young, so I'm pretty sure they're all confused, but my mom, she, she always keeps me woke. I love my mom and my dad. Um, my mom, she's so proud of me right now. She, she always cries and she always wants to pray with me and just hug me.